until we reached here we met so many friends we have been meeting over the years and the input that we got in this seminar earlier sometimes our seminars tended to be academic but here all their life experiences and we understood how interreligious dialogue done with sincerely can give so much positivity There were 480 participants from 40 countries at the interreligious conference entitled One Human Family promoted by the Focolare movement and held from May 31st to June 4th, 2024 in Castel Gandolfo, Rome and Assisi. Jews, Muslims, Christians, Hindus, Buddhists, Sikhs, Baha'i and followers of traditional African religions were present. L'impression c'est l'émerveillement. The impression is one of wonder in front of this plurality, this field of flowers, of all the spiritualities that are present and where each one, each one is really touched. And I see it's not that we're here to please ourselves, but that each one is nourished. Dialogue is the consequence of love. It's because I love you and I'm ready to give everything to you that I'm fully ready to listen to you and fully prepared to share with you and to journey together towards a common spirituality that respects differences qui respecte les différences These two days of being together with all our brothers and sisters of the Focolare were very beautiful moments in diversity, in variety, and everyone had the opportunity to open their hearts and show who they are, happy, free, and it is a very beautiful thing that everyone experienced who they really are in truth. It's a huge seed of hope that we have the chance to look towards unity and peace. There's also a growing feeling of hostility between communities, something even along religious divides. But at the same time, we have to recognize that on the other hand religions are among the most active forces that want to resist this process questo processo at a time of divisions and conflicts and with a focus on the path traced out by Kiara Lubic there were many topical testimonies and issues addressed from how to conceive a politics and an economy of peace to the impact of artificial intelligence in relationships to the commitment to care for the planet. I think it was a very meaningful conference, also in a practical sense, because it addressed head on the issues of economic inequality, economics and technology, which have become big challenges in our lives globally and also in Asia. The legacy that Kiara left for us, these deep bonds and relationship among the different movements for interreligious dialogue, it has been an incredible journey. And I would argue that at this stage, it is now a moment for maturity. For example, today, we had the presentation by Shanti Ashram Youth, together with Risho Kosekai and Fokolari, to suggest a permanent leadership incubator of young leaders of the three movements to constantly deepen these bonds. This is a moment for new beginnings. This is living, the word becoming flesh and living and dwelling among us. And what we know now, 
uh, from what we're hearing, uh, that we can't stay here. But most of the world haven't seen this, so it's our job to share it. We have to share it to them with the spirit of love that we've embraced.